fucking out of focus again. There we go. There we go. Bit too much focus, if anything. Bit too much clarity. I always go by the beard hairs. I feel like that's the best way to, <laughs> to do it. Good evening, team. How you doing? You alright? Hello, Phil. Hello, Shy. How's it going? Um... Is this Santa? No, this isn't Santa. You'll know when it's Santa because I'll have the terrifying mask on from last year. That's still <laughs> that's still kicking round. Um, welcome to Pico Bell, part the second. Um, we're going to play more Pico Eight stuff because I really enjoyed this last week. I don't know about you lot. Um, I had a really nice time. I've got some Christmas lights. Hello, the Wiz Island. Thank you for joining us. Um, I put some Christmas lights up. Look at that. They're actually smart ones, so I can change the colour at will, uh, should the need arise. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it will. I'm going to turn the mic down a bit. Mic looks a bit... It's in the red. It's in the red. It's probably not a good thing. There we go. Hello, Radio Isaac. How's it going? Um... Yeah, I can do more Pico 8 stuff. Nimrod Hicks. Hello. Philips U. No, thank you. These are... These are totally legit. <laughs> um, who are they by? Does it say? No. Um, no, unbranded. But do you know what? They do the flipping job. And I'm happy with them, so deal with it. And they, they work with um, Google Assistant and everything, so it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Um, uh, so there is, they do come with an IR remote, but they also, yeah, you download an app. And then they work on your Wi-Fi and on your Google and your Alexas and that. It's pretty good. Pretty good all in all. I feel like, it's the, I feel like the angle of this is slightly, slightly wrong. There we go. I feel like that made no difference. I don't know why I did that. Should we crack on? Should we crack on and play some Pico 8 stuff? Whoosh. Look at that. Um, Graham will be... Do you know I've not listened to that yet? And I do keep meaning to because just even without having listened to it, it's just a funny thing. <laughs> oh yeah, Capone Adams doing a podcast about Philips Hue light bulbs. Why not? Um... Right, this game, I can't remember what it's called. I just loaded it up because it had Christmas in the title. And it's December, which is the month of Christmas, as you may be aware. So let's 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 crack on. Santa says, ho there, fish. Why is that not working? Have I not highlighted the window? There we go. I could really use your help. Sorry, no time to explain. Can you do all Santa a favour? I'll take that as a yes. <clears throat> By the power vested in me. <laughs> you are the Santa now. <laughs> okay. Go to the coral caves and I'm sure you'll figure it out. Thanks again. Got to run. Alright, here we go. Tunes. So let's see. So I can't, I don't appear to be able to do anything. The movement's nice. The movement feels really good. Holy shit. The, sorry, the way the hat is animating. It's like a little physics object. That's... Going off the, the very, very little I know about Pico 8 development. That's high-end shit. As is that little turning animation as well. That's nuts, man. Uh, right, okay. Coin. Oh, talk. What? Are you Santa now? I'm so jelly, because it's jellyfish. You get it? There you go. Some very tasteful uh, lights. I missed a thing. No, that was just a present. I don't appear to be able to open it or do anything with it. What's, what's this? Oh, we've got a mitten. Ah, so do I have to... Nope, I thought maybe I had to put things in the box. 
It is powerful hat tech. I'm very impressed. This is what's been nice, right? So I've been watching... I think I said on the last stream, like, part of me was sort of intrigued by the idea of actually doing a bit of, like, Pico 8 dev, like, on the stream. I don't think I will, because I don't think it'll be interesting. Um... Hello, Prez Weevil. You're in the right uh, place. Nice. Nice. That's good. That's good. That. I like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, talking about maybe doing some dev. Um, oh, that was the thing. Sorry. The mitten. Um, yeah, but I don't, I don't know if it'd be fun to watch. And I, and I might end up just hating it. I haven't really done any like coding since I did a bit of basic as a child. Is it just me, or does Junior look cold? What can I give him? Eight mittens for the jellyfish, maybe. Yeah, maybe that's what this is about. And also, do I need like a star-shaped... Whoa. I'm not going near that guy yet. Got a diamond. Um... Fucking... What was I saying? <laughs> yeah. It'd be really fun to try and actually make something. I've been like watching some tutorials and stuff and it does look really interesting. I think it would be interesting as a stream if it was literally like, okay guys, in the next hour, we're gonna make the most basic ass 2D platformer and even then it's not gonna be very good, but it's just, it'll just be fun to see the process from nothing to kind of something, right? Like I'm not gonna be like, right, I'm gonna remake Super Meat Boy. And it's just going to be like months of streams of me just staring at code. Sunglasses? Holy shit. Um, so I think as long as I, I keep it really simple, like really, really, really simple, then it might work. I don't know. Point is, I've been looking at tutorials and getting like a very vague idea of how some of the coding and stuff works. So my mind is now like that little bubble effect then when you get one of the presents. I'm just like, what the fuck is that? That's unbelievable! Right, here oh, here we go. Give glove. Yes, mate. A rubber glove. Now I can shake hands without it being a prank. <laughs> um, right, okay. So, yes, we are definitely just finding the gifts. We've got another diamond. So, what have we got? We've got four diamonds, four mittens, eight coins, and some sunglasses and a hat. Oh, what's crab one? I wonder why they're red if they're diamonds. Surely they're rubies. Hey, Shy, you're right, mate. <laughs> Give hat. Yes, there you go. A hat. It's even better than I imagined. Very happy for crab. So, what's with the empty present boxes? Because they don't appear to do anything. I think I'm already getting lost and going around the same areas over and over again. Blood diamonds, yeah, could be. Um, yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm very happy to be doing this again. This was this was a really nice time last week, and already the first game we've picked this week is is cool. <laughs> um, this is me. It's doing look cold. He does still look cold. So I'm yeah. Am I maybe missing one mitten for him? And let's go talk to the shark. We never talk to the shark. A little bit scared of him, if I'm honest. Oh, there's a manta ray. Oh, he wants the sunglasses. Cool. Radical. Thanks, little fish. It does look radical, to be fair. I already, already went down there, didn't I? Where's the shark? Oh, mitten. Five mittens. I reckon we go and see the starfish. Oh, there's the shark. What does he want? Oh, he wants diamonds. Wow, seven of diamonds. Thanks, Santa. I should have spoken to them all first. Because now I don't actually know. <laughs> like, oh yeah, seven of diamonds. Did Why, is that what? Is that what he wanted? No idea. <laughs> right, where was... Where were... The sea stars. Because we don't call them starfish anymore. It's there we go. Yes, give mittens. Ah boy, Junior. It's important to stay warm. It certainly is. 
Sorry, Phil, you were you were trying to direct me, weren't you? I've only just seen that. Uh, so who wants eight coins? Who's left? Surely it can't be. Now I'm so jelly. I wonder if like we're supposed to do like do everyone else, and then we can give the Santa hat to the jellyfish. I can't remember who who have we not given anything to? Was there someone I haven't spoken to? I wonder if like bottom right maybe. Ah, oh, fucking hell! It's a dead end. <clears throat> I still feel like we should be doing something with those presents. Okay, that's just the... yeah, 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 yeah. That's just the crib. Must be someone else that we haven't spoken to yet. Who wants some... Ah, oh, no, no, we did the... We did that. We did that. There's no other... Definitely no other buttons. I'm not doing anything other than opening and closing the little inventory at the top. What's going on? That's you, you don't need anything. Is there anything across the top? I don't think so. Lower middle, that's a good shout. Why not? That's the shark. Done that. Done the shark. Ah, have they all got Christmas lights around them? Is that the the visual clue? Because look, there's the jellyfish. And then there's the sea stars. No, sorry, yeah, that was me doing that. I was mashing the button near the um near the present just to see if any Ah! Nine coins. But is that what is that enough? What what's the deal? Yeah, that's crab. Okay, I guess we'll try the jellyfish again. Now that we're rich. Uh something now I'm so jelly. No you are mate. But what do you want? What do you want from me? I've got all the co presumably all the coins. Um, what are we missing? It'd be really nice if this had a mini map like um, that one we played last week, the shooter. That was well good. Ah, peanut butter. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. That's what's going on. <laughs> what are you booing? We sauced it. It's all good. Peanut butter. This is great. Wait till I tell breadfish. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god, don't tell me there's more. Dear Fish, thanks for your help. Love Santa. P.S. You can keep the hat. I've got tons of those. <laughs> this has been Christmas in the Coral Caves by Kitten Master. <laughs> Obrian drew the intro art. Special thanks to Zep for PX9. I'm not sure what that means. You found 9 out of 9 coins! Absolutely mastered it. Oh, Cammy, okay, you're right, man. Unfortunately, the concept of currency does not exist in fish society, but you did a perfect job. Thanks for playing. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, that was great. Right, what else we got? Uh, we got a mega zone, crayon fall, ball arena. Deep eyes, stripes. I've got loads of stuff that I think are all part of the same um, uh, Pixel Sessions collection. Um, they're all by the same person. Mushroom Delicieux. 
that's going to be a good one, I think. Embrace is also part of the same thing, as is that. Pirate's Trial looks cool. Pico Lake. Don't know what it is. Hopefully, it's just about walking around around a lake. That's all I want from it. That's what, Then there's a bunch that we played last week. And then maybe a few we didn't get to. We didn't get to Moon Race or Golf Sunday, which sounds excellent. Um, so, yeah, let's do... Let's go from the top. Let's do Amiga's own... 1.3, no less. Can we stop talking to me about trifle, mate? I've already had trifle tonight. I will probably have more trifle before bed. Um, so I bought trifle today, everyone. Cammy already knows this. Big life news, I know. Um, but <laughs> I fucking love trifle. It's the best. Right, what's this? What's going on then? Oh, for some reason I thought that score thing in the middle was going to go away. Yeah, we did it. Got more in group chats about trifle I do my family. That's probably about right. And reflective of my love for trifle. Hello, Doomikin. Now, what's the purpose of those little yellow things? So they're just more points, aren't they? I was hoping for a bigger gun. Whoa, fuck. Shit. Yes, mate. Have it. Oh, fuck. I assume they're laser death walls. So let's not fuck about. Oi, mate. Meh. Look at this absolute coward. Oh no, what's it doing? What's it doing? Shit. I can't... Oh! Cammy, you should make a shoot month for Pico 8, mate. Let's do it together. Let's collaborate. You do the work. And I will... Uh, I'll be the hype man. I'll help you publicise it. It is quite stressful. I'm going to stop playing it. It's good, but it's stressful. Right, so I think a number of these might just be like visual effect things. I don't think they're games as such. Blimey. Look at that. I think that's being generated in real time. Can I do anything with a mouse? No. Okay. That doesn't really... It was interesting. But not for a stream. Uh, let's play Ball Arena. Rotate aim. That or that to give impulse. Defeat the other balls with the impulse. Ah, what's happening? Whoa! Ah. Okay. Um... So that didn't go too well. I'm going to turn this down on my headphones just a bit. What am I meant to do? Ah. So I can, like, run them through. I guess. No! Oh. Move the screen so it looks like I'm vomiting. That's a good idea, Phil. I should have done that. I'm sorry. I missed. Message it. Bollocks. Man. Oh, come off it. There we go. Bang. Score one. Oh, God. Oh, God. So you literally... There you go. There you go. Oh, this is... This is stressful as well. I picked loads of stressful games tonight. I'm definitely going for Pico Lake after this. Four. Five. Six. Ah! Oh! Play something else. <laughs> I think this is another effect one. Whoa. 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 Yeah, not non interactive. But again, I don't know how they've done that. Literally don't know how they've done that. 
So, calling me impressed. Uh, same again. Yep. Cool. Right, Mushroom Delicieux by the same person. Up, down, left, right. Next to start. Cool. Oh, look at that. That's sort of real time lighting. Yes! Ate some mushrooms. Feeling better. Give me food. I'm hungry. Oh, see, see. There we go. Delicious. Oh, oh god. Oh, what's happening? Oh, what's happening? <laughs> oh my god, this is. I mean, I don't want to be like, oh, this is uh, this is like being on mushrooms. But it is fucking up my head a bit. <laughs> It looks like grabbing some of those blows up any enemies on the screen. I'm invincible. Yes, mate. So I think there's different mushrooms with different effects, right? Is this absolutely battering anyone else's eyes? I need food. All right, so hunger down on the left. Health on the right. I haven't seen any mushrooms in ages. Ah! Christ. Level 4 out of 7. So not bad. Not bad at all. I'm on the white hot chocolate again. I'm having a fantastic time. <laughs> Let's try again. So is there only like a finite amount of mushrooms in the world? Because I felt like it was really thinning out towards the end. <clears throat> and it was just getting harder and harder to find stuff. Or maybe I just got shitter and shitter at the game. So it's the yellow potions blow everything up. The red ones heal you. There we go. Bang. Ah, fuck. Whoa. Ah, fuck. Oh my god, my health. I need some healing bollocks. Oh man. <clears throat> One more go. One more go. I quite like this. Quite like this. Yeah, decadence one word for it. Um, horrifically gluttonous is another word. <laughs> There's two words, but you know. Fine. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I need to stop running into enemies, really, don't I? That would be... That'd be something. Ah, oh, Jesus, I'm getting worse at this. Oh, let's play something else. That was good, though. I like that. Oh, Embrace, this is another one, but I think this is an actual game. Move the hand with that. Put it on the side of Embrace. Okay. The screen shaker's bad, wasn't it? Fun, okay. So, control one hand, there we go, and then the other one. You're not going to say, you're not going to say what? Feelings, thoughts, noticeably uh, glum looking, the old thoughts. Don't 
don't embrace your opinions. Never do that. <clears throat> you think they look phallic? It's th the ends. Ruin it. <laughs> mistakes. Embrace your mistakes, guys. Come on. Failures. Oh my god, this is taking a turn now, isn't it? Learning. Success. Adversity. Climate. Sorry, I realise I'm just reading out the the words. You can read them for yourself. <coughs> I feel like this must be going somewhere. But I don't know where. The future? I don't want to embrace the future. It's terrifying. The present's even worse. In the past now. Nope, embrace embracing. Nice. Life! In all its glorious colours. It is just a good vibe to game, I think you're right. Thank you for playing. Keep on embracing. Will do, mate. There you go. Patreon URL. Embrace exists thanks to... This is going to be all the patrons now, isn't it? <clears throat> you're right, Phil. 100% in two games. Not doing bad. Let's do Pico Lake. I'm intrigued. My pavilion. Wait, where's your phone? You probably left it at a restaurant near Pico Lake again. I'm always doing... Oh my god! It's a point and click adventure game. Look. Around. You're in a nice quiet park near Pico Lake, a path leads to the restaurant. You enjoy the view over Pico Lake. Does sound like the sort of thing I would do. There's nothing special to see, at least not on this side of the tree. Hey yo! What about this side of the tree? Oh, same thing. <coughs> right, let's go to the restaurant, I guess. Here it is. Look. Door. Door's closed, you can't tell if someone's still inside as the lights are out and the glass is smudged. Car keys. Your car keys are in your pocket, your car is parked near the entrance of the park. Fine. I get red wine. Take the bottle of red wine. Find us keepers. Underneath the bottle you discover a business card on the table. Look at business card. It has the number and address of a local veterinarian. You memorise the address just in case you would need one. <laughs> okay. Um... Use car keys. I want to key the door open. I want to fuck with the lock. Five points for wine. You're absolutely right, Phil. Use red wine. Not here, not now. Okay, fine. Use car keys. Sounds good, but no. Use door. You can't open the door. You're too late. The restaurant is closed. Well, I'm not accepting that. Okay, so we can't go any further that way. Um, talk. Door. Hello? <laughs> There's no response, the restaurant looks closed. What else have I got? Did I, I did I not take the business card? I might be able to use the business card to jimmy the lock. Uh, get business card. Oh, no, you don't need it. You can read it though. Look, business card, yes, it's just the same as before. Use business card, nope. Talk, business card, sounds good, but no. I'm gonna talk to the table, no. Um, God, it's literally been about two minutes and we're already doing the try everything on everything thing, aren't we? Um, <clears throat> can we go this? Ah, we can go back to the car. Look, car. This is your car. Use car keys. You best to find your phone. You don't want to leave yet unless there's an emergency. Fair enough. Use red wine. No. Maybe I'll just sit on the bench. Hello, Pubis84. Can I use bench? You'd love to, but you need to find your phone first. Look at. I want to look in the bin. 
Trash bin. You see a clean sponge in the bin wrapped in plastic. What? That's not a normal thing. Oh, cheers for the sub, pubis. You're very cool. I appreciate you a lot. You see a clean sponge in the bin wrapped in plastic. And well, I'm going to get it. You take the sponge out of the plastic wrap. Look at sponge. It's an ordinary sponge. Oh yeah, because then maybe I can get the smudges off the glass with it. That's a good point, Isaac. Let's see. Use. Sponge. There's nothing you can use to clean the door. Maybe you should find something to use. Yeah, the sponge. What? 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 The lamp. It's a generic garden lamp. The lamp turns on automatically when it's dark. It is incredible what they can do with computers. Right, look. Oh, do I need to use the sponge? Oh, I thought maybe I get the sponge wet in the water. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Phil had the same idea. Smart people. Ah! Can I now look at the tree? Behind the tree, you see an abandoned bird cage. Behind the bushes. Well, I'm going to take it and pick up the bird cage. What can I do with the bird cage? Use like. You try, but don't succeed. Um, oh, man, I was hoping there was going to be more stuff that way. That's true, yeah. Yeah, in the old points, we're doing all right. Has this guy got a mullet? No, I don't think so. It's normal hair. Um, what the fuck do I do with a bird cage? Look, bird cage. Cage is rusty and dented, but still intact. Can't go round the back. I can't go that way. Look around. You're at one of your favourite restaurants, especially in summer. <clears throat> Pico Lake is an excellent place for lunch. Too bad it closes so early. Um, hmm, what else? Could he go further out here? No. <clears throat> what on earth? Oh yeah, can we look in the trunk? The boot, shy. Okay, trunk. First you need to open the trunk. Alright, use the keys then. Okay, you open the trunk. Look, trunk. There's a small bottle with glass cleaner in the trunk. Who, what? No, sorry, get. Glass cleaner. Um. Why does he keep glass cleaner in the trunk? What's that all about? Use glass cleaner. You spray some of the glass cleaner on the glass door. Sponge. You wipe the door clean with the sponge. You can see through it now. Look at the door. The restaurant is closed. You can see through the window that everybody's gone home. Are you kidding me? Is that all? Is that all I get? For that? <laughs> can I just smash it in with a birdcage? Oh, I'm, st I'm stuck. We did get points, to be fair. You're right. Uh, let's see. Hello, quiet bloke. You're right. You're right, actually. All these years, he's been catching shit for keeping glass cleaner in the car. Now look. Now look. Birdcage vet. Well, we haven't got a phone. We need our phone if we're going to phone the vet. You know where it is located. Use birdcage. No. Um. Birdcage on garden light. Oh. Oh no. A bird crashed into the spotlessly clean window. Nice going, sad face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know how obvious that was on camera, but I fucking jumped then. <laughs> so do I put the bird... Use... Sorry, get... Wounded bird. Do you want to pick up the bird with your bare hands? Maybe we should find something to wrap around it. 
Um, use bird cage. No. <laughs> Hello, cosmonaut. Yeah, sorry about that VIP nonsense. Right, look at the door. The restaurant's closed. See if the everyone's gone home. Can I smash? Can I talk to the bird? I want to talk to the bird. Hey, I'm sorry, you mumble. No response. The bird is unconscious. <laughs> As if, if the bird was conscious, it'd be like, hey, no worries, man. I'm a bit hurt. Yeah, plastic wrap in the bin. Let's see. Is that a thing? Nothing more in the bin. Damn it. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. What do we think? Um, <clears throat> pick it up with the sponge. I don't know. Surely it's got to be... Is there something to wrap it in? Use... Red wine. <laughs> Use sponge. Um, choose the glass cleaner again. We already did. <laughs> well, there'll be a big birdie imprint on it now. Ah, uh, what else? What else could we do? It seems there's nothing else in the trunk. Use trunk. The trunk is locked. Use car keys. Okay, you open the trunk. Look. Around. No. Look. Trunk. Oh, come on. Come on now. That's not good design. <laughs> There's also a blanket in the trunk. Get. Blanket. Right. So. Blanket. Round bird. Bird in cage. Use. Blanket. You wrap the bird in a blanket. Get wounded bird. If you don't have anything to put the bird in, maybe you should find a safer way to transport. Okay, use bird cage. Good idea. You put the bird in the cage. Now what? Oh, cheers, cosmonaut. Gift in a sub. That is some stellar behaviour, mate. Um... I mean, let's check the trunk again, because apparently that's just an endless source of items. It's empty now, nothing of interest anymore. Okay. Can I use the bird cage? You don't have to put stuff in the trunk. Okay. All right. Use trunk then. Close it. Use keys. No, I want it to lock it. Okay. <laughs> So now what? Like I've sorted the bird out, but then what has that really changed here? There's so nothing I can smash. Put bird in bin? No. <laughs> um. If I put the... Hang on, so you use garden lamp, that doesn't work. What if I use... No. No, I've, I've run out of ideas. Red wine, sponge, glass cleaner. Can I just smash the door with a bottle of red wine? <clears throat> just let me break in. I don't give a shit anymore. Talk. Door. Look. Around. Yeah, we've done that. Look. Door. Look. Bird cage. Cage is rusty and dent. It's all intact. Look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to give up. But I am stuck. Anyone got any ideas? Oops. Glass cleaner, wounded bird. Call a hotline. The, the tips hotline. <laughs> Use wounded bird. Use bird cage. Use trash bin. Talk trash bin. There's no need for that. Look at the trash bin. Definitely nothing more in the bin. Go to vet. Surely it won't let me do that. Um. 
No, sorry, get business card. You don't need it, you can read it. So look, business card. Right, yeah, you know where it's located. Okay, maybe it'll just let me drive there then. It's just, previously it was acting as if I couldn't go anywhere until I got my phone. <clears throat> Use car. You drive, okay, you drive to the vet, fair enough. You drive to the address you found on the card at the vet. You put the wounded bird down on the table in the waiting room. Oh my goodness. Oops. Talk, receptionist. You explain to the receptionist what has happened. She's not impressed and kindly asks you to sit down and wait. Okay. Use seating. You're too impatient to sit down. What the heck? Look, bird cage. Doesn't look too dramatic though. Talk to receptionist. Okay. Um. Get birdcage. I need to pick it up. I assume I can't just leave. Use. Door is closed. You need to go to the reception before you enter. I did. Oh, I'm going to give her some red wine. Receptionist isn't interested in the stolen wine bottle. <laughs> Use glass cleaner. Sounds good, but no. Use. Do you want a sponge? No. Get receptionist. Yeah, I tried talk. I'm not impressed and kindly asked you to sit down and wait. But it won't let me sit down and wait. So. What's the deal? Plant. Nothing is hidden in the plant. Get plant. Use. Red wine on plant. <laughs> Look around. You're in the waiting room with the vet. vet you memorize from the business card to the right of the reception. Yeah, we know that. See a fairly busy street outside. Your car is parked near the clinic. Use wine on self. Doesn't let you, sadly. Uh, talk to the exit. You try, but don't succeed. Um. <clears throat> Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm out of ideas. Well and truly. Talk to plant. Talk plant. There's no need for that. Get seating. Talk seating. Look at seating. You're too impatient to sit down. You seating. You're too impatient to sit down. Just, what, what do you want me to do then? Yeah, the reception is here to help. Just select talk from the menu. I did. And she wants me to sit down. I've tried using the bench. It just says I'm too impatient to sit down. Use. Red wine. Use. Car keys. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying stuff now. Oh, we might have to sack this off. Use exit. Can't just leave the bird, you'd have a sense of responsibility. Can I pick him up again then? You don't need to pick it up. Right, okay. <sighs> Only 14 more points. Should we have a look for a walkthrough? I won't look at the whole thing. I just need to know what the solution is. Um, oh, I can't find, weirdly, can't find a solution for it. Um, yeah, there's nothing. You have to do some wacky stuff to get the receptionist to see the bird. Some wacky stuff. What sort of wacky stuff? Use sponge, use glass cleaner, use glass cleaner, maybe try something else. I'm trying everything! I'm trying absolutely everything. So what's this little bit here? <clears throat> so that's just a window, and then I assume this was the way we came in. Talk to the vet's office. <laughs> I 
Oh, cheers, Cosmo. That is very cool of you. You tell the birds all will be fine in a couple of minutes. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god! You pour the red wine over the cage. So it's a bloody looking mess. Look, my, my absolutely jacked up bird. Tell the receptionist you cannot wait any longer. She looks at the birds and is startled by the sight of the bloody stains. The doctor will see you now. The vet examines the bird. The bird is fine and will fully recover. Yes. She hands you some painkillers for birds and sends you on your... It's not my bird. I'm not going to... Nurse it back to health. All right. Get bird cage. What? Oh, do I have to use the bird medicine? Oh, no. You feed the bird a painkiller pill from the box. They look strangely appealing. You can't resist yourself. And try one too. Don't try this at home. You feel disorientated in a useful way. You have a lucid daydream and suddenly remember where you put your phone. It's in your right pocket. Look. Right pocket. Yes, there you go. You decide to tell no one what has happened and head back to Pico Lake to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Oh, and thanks for playing. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. I mean, uh, you know, puzzle design aside, the fact that someone has put together a completely, you know, cogent sort of <laughs> point and click um, engine within Pico 8 is amazing. Like, that's, that's really impressive. Right. What are we on? About five to ten. Right, I'll do one more. I've been... I, I, I know streams are generally, like, people stream for, like, two, three hours or whatever... But I've really enjoyed just keeping these to like a tight hour or so. I hope that's all right. Um, <clears throat> oh, cheers, Shy. Enjoying the Christmas lights, such as they are. Um, I mean, it's a bit weird when like the rest of the room isn't decorated yet because we're still waiting for the plaster to set. But um, get Matt to link Twitch chat to your lights. <laughs> Uh, right, exit to explore. Uh, that was stuff we did last week. We could do Pirate's Trial. Or... What else do we have? Oh, this is just the new section. So this is stuff that's just come out. That looks terrifying. I'm going to play that. Tuck and Rollo. What's this? What is this? Tuck and Rollo. Exit to start. Yes, man. Jump. Attack. Oh my god, this the movement in this is fantastic. Block. Yes, dude. Bang. Bang. Is that music a bit loud? Um, six months ago and it's still still haven't decorated <laughs> oh my god so you can shoot as well this is great <laughs> what was this is that an item oh how do I get there yes mate bloody love mushrooms in the Pico 8 community don't they Good luck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's Banjo Kazooie, you're right. This is legitimately really good. <laughs> Uh, 
Turn that down in my ears a little bit. Can I climb up the vines? No. Well, now it's a bad game. And I don't like it anymore. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, sorry Pubis, uh, new baby is absolutely a fine reason to have not achieved things, so don't you worry about it, mate. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we, our plastering's reached that weird stage where it's it seems dry, but every day there's just more dust. We're just, the dust will not stop, ever. So I think we're just going to wait till after Christmas. Oh, fuck. Useless bird. Which has changed colour. Wasn't it red before? Maybe it ranked up. Hey, hello, Ben. Oh, the, uh, I haven't put the alert thing on here, mate. I'm using... Because I'm using... Reg ah, shite. I'm using regular OBS now. Because Streamlabs are dicks. Um, so yeah, I've not added that widget yet. I will get on that though. Now, is it just me or is it wise to just avoid half the fights? sort of annoying but also really impressive that the when the bird shoots like it definitely comes from the bird's current location it's not just locked at like a certain height relative to your, to your character the skeleton does look familiar doesn't he I don't know what from either though maybe we're just talking shit oh god right I'm not even going to fight those this time what's the point Oh Christ. Uh, uh. Oh fuck. Look, it's the moon. Look at the way the moon comes in and out as you leave. That's so good. That's so good. <laughs> Shite. Not, not so keen on those Satan lads, gotta say. Tell you what, pubis, you can tell there's a new baby in your life if you're making jokes like that. <laughs> oh, shit. I am nearly dead. Come on, Satan, where you at? Fuck. Ah, oh, bollocks. Ah, oh, right, that's too hard. I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Uh, let's see. I mean, this is just the new category, so it's possible a lot of this doesn't even work very well. Let's go for featured. Let's do Mott Grand Prix. Oh, there was um. Let me see if I can find it. I remember seeing a thing. Where's the search? Um, we can draw... oh yeah. All the way to the top, there's definitely a quicker way of doing this, but I haven't figured it out yet. Ugh. Search. Uh, someone's... oops. Someone's done like a really legitimately... Yes! Pico Off-Road! It's like a really good version of... Um, or looks like a really good version of, of Ivan Iron Man's Super Off-Road. Please be good. Yes, mate, look at that. Red Hurricane, Silver Blaze, Yellow Thunder, Blue Lightning, Green Devil. I'm going to Yellow Thunder. Let's keep it on easy because I'm a coward. Golf Sunday does sound good. You're right. That might be next week. Yes, man. Now, what's the go button, please? Yes, look at that. Oh, I think... Ah, shit. That wasn't normal acceleration. That was me using my turbos. Whoops. Okay, there we go. How good do they look? I wonder if they're... 
like real time like actual 3D objects or is that just a load of sprites that it's rotating between surely I don't know I don't know actually that little tilt when you hit a jump suggests to me that it is a real time object like 3D object god that's impressive I have an Iron Man Stewart. That was, that was his full name. I just, I just thought it was Ivan Iron Man. Forgot he, forgot he had a surname. Or maybe I'm, I subconsciously I'd assumed that Iron Man was his surname. <laughs> I mean, this is great. Like the feel of the car and everything is is fantastic. Yes, mate. Absolutely smashed it. <clears throat> I'm good, Chris. How are you, man? Look, and it's got water and everything. Oh, I forgot I've got my turbos, haven't I? Whoa, whoa, bollocks. I mean, that is true to the original, right? You could do that quite easily and just fucking end up going the wrong way. Yes, look at that. <laughs> like, in a lot of cases, like, it, it's very cool that there's lots of interesting, like, D makes on Pico 8. Um, but this is just like, now nah, this is just like a really good version of the same game. It's not, you know, there's no like D make about it. This is just very good. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I, I can't keep an eye on the chat while I'm playing this because it's too intense. All right, one more race. Mate, I'm looking forward to the Halo Infinite campaign. I am more looking forward to co-oping it with mates, or one mate, as I believe is the restriction. Um, but yeah, quite looking forward to just roaming about liberating bases. Oh, shit. This is a confusing course. Probably be coming off the accelerator a bit on some of those turns. I'm just like slamming into walls quite a lot. Music's all right as well. Oh fuck! Uh, I'm out of, out of turbs. No more turbo. Oh no, I'm not out of turbo. An idiot. Let's get it used then. Yes, mate. Oh, what the hell? I thought that was the last lap. If only I'd read the numbers that very clearly state otherwise in the top left-hand corner. <laughs> yeah, mate. Is that the end of the tournament? How long is the tournament? I can't do another race. No, I'm not doing another race. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to call it there, I think. Um, what an enjoyable selection of games once again. And um, I've got more for... So for next week, I've actually got a load of the ones that came with... You know, I mentioned there was a, a itch bundle, which sadly is now gone. Um, but, um, yeah, so I've, I've lined up a bunch of those. It's really weird, though, a lot of the ones that came in the bundle, they're not actually, um, like, they don't load into, like, the, the Pico 8 program. They, um, 
Like, a lot of them, they're just their own, like, executable file. Um, Pixelumia, which one was that? Was that one of these? <clears throat> or is that one I need to search for? Have a look. That has not come up with anything. Sorry, Phil, this is probably a reference to something that we talked about and I've already forgotten. Um, yeah, the Jingle Jam bundle. Holy shit. It's absolutely ludicrous. Um, oh, it's a, a demake of Mixolumia. Tetris-esque. Nice. Um, but yeah, the Jingle Jam thing's proper good. And they've raised a million quid dollars already, which is amazing. Um so yeah, that's it. Um, I was saying, I, I, some of you might have missed it. I was saying earlier, I don't know why, but I really like um, oh, Pico Lumia. That'd be why it didn't come up. Um, yeah, I've been really like, liking just keeping these to an hour. I know that's a bit disappointing in streaming terms, um, but <laughs> yeah, it's just it's been nice just keeping it a bit focused, you know. Um, gonna go probably gonna go and play halo to be honest because i quite want to play halo because i've started i've started getting it started making some sense to make my old brain um it's been nice but yeah thanks so much for watching this has been episode two of pico bell i'll be doing the same next week i imagine oh or maybe not um because next week's looking a bit fucking ridiculous because i think on the saturday next week we're doing the christmas quiz i think at some point we've got the bonus show recording next week and also the gotti draft on the sunday we're recording that um so it might be a bit much next week but i'll see what i can do um what's up pubis what's up what's up what is it But yeah, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit anxious about the... I know Pico Bell sounds like Taco Bell. Oh, hello, Ian. Look, if you're going to keep turning up, but just gone 10 o'clock when I end the stream, this is just what's going to happen. You can watch it on YouTube afterwards. It's fine. It's... <laughs> um... Why not stream Halo? Because the Xbox is in the other room. And also because some elements of me playing video games should remain private. It's not all for public consumption. <laughs> um, but yeah. See you later. Cheers, everyone. Um, obviously, Farley's on tomorrow, I think. Assuming he doesn't rage quit. Um, and then, uh, fucking, I don't think, uh, Dave keeps saying he needs to finish Lake. I don't think he's gonna, so I don't think that's happening on Saturday. Matt is not streaming on Sunday because it's his wedding anniversary, which he keeps sort of, I don't know, he was, he was like on the show, he was like, oh, yeah, all the stuff's going on. Just say it's your wedding anniversary, Matt, it's fine. Everyone's happy for you. It's, nice, it's a nice thing. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, I, I forgot. By the way, I mean I didn't so I didn't watch Farley's stream. Did none of you tell him that that boss is optional? Because I mean I had to be Cammy reminded me, I I'd, I'd forgotten. Um But yeah, did did none of you tell him or was he just like determined to do it anyway? You were you weren't there until the end, okay, fair enough. Um because like Cammy was saying, it just unlocks like a PvP faction, doesn't it? Which isn't even something that James is interested in, so he just Poor guy. Poor guy. Bless him. <laughs> so yeah, more of that tomorrow night. And maybe maybe tell him. Um Or don't. It's up to you. I'll, you can hear me on the podcast next week, I suppose. It'll be alright, won't it? Um You can drink milk. You can certainly do that. You can certainly drink fucking milk. <laughs> right. Look, Ian, I like... I'm just chatting. You can you can go. You don't have to listen to this. You can just take off if you want. No one's... 
That was making you stay. Right, I'm going now. Bye, everyone. Take care. Have a good weekend or Friday. Don't do any work tomorrow. Fuck it. It's Friday. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. <laughs>